Well, the controversy surrounding vaping products and regulation grows every day, just as the list of confirmed sicknesses and deaths related to it. Tonight, Q2's Jenny Fick takes a deeper look. With recent vaping injuries and deaths in the headlines, we decided to stop by Billings Clinic to speak to a pulmonologist to find out what exactly is happening inside the body when someone vapes. So anytime you inhale something into your lungs, your lungs has an immune system inside it just like the rest of your body. And so if you were, for example, to get some kind of irritating material on your skin, your skin would turn red, it would be painful, it might itch, it might even open up the skin itself. That same inflammatory reaction can happen inside the lungs. And that's really what we're seeing with these new inhalational devices and people inhaling substances that really they shouldn't be inhaling at all. This is the scan from a patient who was actually hospitalized um, and placed on mechanical ventilation as a result of inhaling. He says the aerosol produced by vaping devices is so small that it is able to penetrate through all the layers of the lung. We're going to watch what happens when these different particle sizes get inhaled into the lungs. The little circle in the bottom right hand corner is what's called an alveolus. It's the most, uh, it's the part of the lung where air and oxygen are actually exchanged within the blood. And so the larger particle gets stuck, and this is something like uh, sawdust would be a good thing to think about, gets stuck in the big airways of the lung. Middle-sized particles that you would inhale down get stuck in sort of the middle-sized airways. Vaping devices produce an aerosol that's so small that it gets all the way out to the very distal parts of the lung um, and causes severe immune reaction. That response causing severe illness and death. There have been several deaths, unfortunately, uh, because of lung, lung inflammation that's been so severe that the damage is irreparable. Uh, for the most part, what we are seeing is with high doses of steroids and courses in the ICU, people are getting better and they're improving, but there, some of them, we don't know yet what the long-term effects are going to be for some of these folks. I would say don't inhale anything that's not air. Uh, putting anything in your lungs that's not supposed to be there, just like putting anything in your body that's not really supposed to be there, um, has really potentially very serious side effects and, and, and can really cause potentially irreversible damage, if not loss of life. In Billings, Jenny Fick, MTN News. All right, now the ultimate message, quit smoking. Montana has a dedicated quit line, the Montana Tobacco Quit Line, 1-800-QUIT.